For almost seven months now, Game and Fish officers have been trying to catch a man suspected of shooting and killing five antelope and leaving their bodies in a pile to rot. This case has taken investigators all the way out to South Carolina. Well, today, officers have their man, but their tracking methods might not be what you'd expect from lawmen who spend a lot of time outdoors. Our Gotti Schwartz has the story from Rio Rancho. When you think of game wardens, you probably imagine them out in the field tracking animals and hunters by foot. But that kind of tracking wasn't enough for a high profile case of antelope poaching. Last year, five pronghorn antelope were shot, killed, and left to rot on a private ranch near the Rio Puerco. Three does and two bucks. The two bucks had their heads cut off. And some of these buck antelope can be on the civil end, could be worth up to $10,000 based on their size. As information came in, game and fish officers took their tracking out of the field and onto Facebook. We use Facebook a lot because a lot of people post pictures and, and different stuff of their kills online, so we use a lot of that information. When the alleged poachers were indicted, one suspect left the state, but Officer Sean Carroll was able to continue tracking him online, finding him in South Carolina. We can track him all over the country where he moves from day to day. So a lot of this stuff is, is more internet driven or online driven. We can find out a lot of information from the computer. Put your hands up in the air. Yesterday, officers got a break in the case when their suspect came back home to Rio Rancho and took his dog for a walk. Go ahead and walk yourself down your stomach real slow. <laughs> 22 year old Michael Yarborough has been arrested on a warrant for poaching antelope, being in possession of antelope, and criminal trespass. These animals actually belong to the residents of New Mexico. They don't belong to the landowners, they don't belong to anybody. They actually belong to the residents. Officers say this has been an important case for a department whose wildlife conservation is entirely funded by the fees they collect from hunting and fishing. And by them taking those animals out of the population, we're not allowed to get any revenue off that. And also the residents lose hunting opportunity to go out and harvest these animals and actually use the meat instead of leaving it in the field. In Sandoval County, Gotti Schwartz, KOBI Witness News 4.